I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is the nursery rhyme, Jack and Jill went up the hill. I come over here on the left hand side and right about this point I put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a pretty good size circle. I come down to the left and I put a straight line. Come to the right, straight line, slightly curved line over and connect. Come back to this point on the left and let's just draw a curve line down off the page. Come on the right, curve line down off the page. Come over here on the left, curve line out and connect. Jump over to the right, curve line out, over, connect. Starting on the left, little baby straight lines all the way across. Come back to the left, little baby straight lines on the bottom, little baby straight lines on the right. Come inside and we're going to put one dot, two dots. In the center, curve line. Down below, a big curve line, little curve line, little curve line. Now come over here to the right, put a dot. And we're going to draw a pretty good sized circle. Straight line on the bottom on the left. Straight line on the bottom on the right. Slightly curved line over and connect. Come back to the left. Curve line down off the page. Come on the right. Curve line down off the page. Come over here on the left. Little curve line out and connect. Um, jump over, little curve line out in connect on the right. Come inside, one dot, two dots, in the center, little curve line, big curve line, little curve line, little curve line. Starting back up here, we're just going to draw a wavy, wavy line down on the left, connect, come back up wavy wavy line down on the right connect come right over here right where this point is and we're just going to draw a straight diagonal slightly curved line straight diagonal down and connect I'm going to put some little baby straight lines going up little baby straight lines going over little baby straight lines going down. I come right up here and I put a straight line, curve line, straight line down, connect. Come back over to the left, little straight line on the left, little straight line on the right. Straight line across. Little straight diagonal up on the left, little straight diagonal down on the right, straight line, connect. Inside, I put a little straight line, little curve line, straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. Come down to this space, curve line, curve line. Now, over here on the upper right, I put a dot, and I'm going to draw another pretty good sized circle. I come inside and I draw a flat oval, straight line, straight line, left and right. Come up to the top and we're just going to put curve line, curve line, curve line around, connect. And now I'm going to draw on the left, straight line up, baby triangle, straight line, straight line, straight line. Come on the right straight line down, baby triangle down, straight line, straight line, connect. Come up to the top on the right and we're just going to draw curve line, 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 curve line. Now come all the way down here to the bottom. Right about here we're just going to draw a curve line, 
straight line on top, straight line on the bottom. Curve line on the inside. <clears throat> right here, midpoint, wavy, wavy line out, back, connect. Come over here on the bottom, wavy line out, up, connect. Now we draw a curve line, connect, and another curve line, connect. I think that's all. Let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, this is a story map that will help you remember the rhyme. So Jack and Jill went up the hill. So the first thing we're going to do is color our hill green. We want it to have some grass. Those are what those little straight lines are. So loop-de-loop -loop and color this all green. So Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Here's our pail of water. So if you have gray, I'm going to color this in gray. If you don't have gray, you can use yellow or really any color you want. But I'm using blue, green, turquoise for my pail of water. Okay. Next, using my multicultural crayons, I think this is peach or apricot. I'm going to color in Jack. This is Jack. Hello. Don't forget his ears. This space. So here's Jack and here's Jill. You may color these characters in any color you want. I'm using peach apricot. You can use your multicultural crayons to make them any color you want. Then I take my brown and I'm going to color in this space brown and I'm going to color in all the way up here this space brown. Okay, color this all in brown. Then I am going to take purple and I'm just going to add some stripes, curve, slightly curved lines on Jack. Slightly curved lines on Jill. They are together, so I don't mind dressing them the same. I come up with my red, and this is very important because this shows Jack and Jill going up the hill, and this triangle shows Jack and Jill coming down the hill. Okay? I take my black, and I color in this space black because this is my reaction to what is going on on this hill. It's like, oh no! So this is yellow. And then to show that there is a commotion, I'm going to take my gray and just redraw these lines. So that you know going up wasn't so difficult, but coming down was a whole other deal. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his ground, crown, and Jill came tumbling after. Okay. Bye-bye.